Okay, so here it is guys, Ubuntu 17.04 review. My name is Jyotpreet and be sure to click that like button and subscribe to the channel for more. Okay, so let's begin. First of all, you can see and I touched about this briefly in my first impressions video for Ubuntu 17.04 that Unity 7 is still default, at least that's what I, I have here. Although this may change in the future and I hopefully think that they'll bring Unity 8 because it looked really good and I really want to try it out and the video will be out soon. And next up is a small and a few of the changes that they've made. Uh, the first one I, I could find was the calendar app where they introduced a week as well. Week column and the month and the year is there. And you can adjust it according to your needs and set and add or remove events that you might want to set. The file manager app is pretty simple and pretty functional. I guess this is one of the better ones that I've seen and I guess a lot of the other apps take a clue from this as well. And the default applications included are the LibreOffice suite of Office. And I think this is cool because they include this uh, whole slew of applications. And I touched about this again in my first impressions video, so you can go watch that one as well. And Ubuntu Software Center is still there for some reason. And Amazon is there spying on me, yeah. Although you can remove that easily without any problems and the other applications are improved and they are basically the same and there's not much change that has taken place that you can outrightly see and the browser icon although i'm getting into nitpicking here but the browser icon has changed and i'm still pretty confused why they're including another browser when they have already included firefox but you know again choice that's two are better than one and then again all these default applications are there that you can use and that's good and then talking about the design i have already touched that i am really waiting for unity 8 to come out because unity has become kind of stale and old looking for me and i guess it has been passed down like so many times and i really don't see any change in it like nothing is changing it's still the same like day in and day out and release after release so i'm pretty hopeful on unity 8 to change that and i'll be looking forward to that okay next up i have the hardware compatibility with ubuntu 70.04 and with linux in general and ubuntu being at the top of it i guess hardware compatibility has become really amazing i tried on a wi-fi adapter and it worked perfectly although i am using local area network right now and the wi-fi works and you plug in any wireless mouse and keyboard they, they work headphones, Bluetooth, you can go in the settings and you can basically see like they have the Bluetooth settings and the keyboard mouse and power change settings that you can adjust and you also have printers and the tablet that you can use to draw on and I think that is pretty cool that they have supported this out of the out of the box and there's not much configuration that you have to make in order to do that and coming into drivers I guess they have been becoming better and better as I have installed a graphics driver of NVIDIA and it's running perfectly without any problems at all and without a need for me to install those drivers for Ubuntu to support them. And I guess this is a really a big achievement I think because even Windows sometimes has to go through the driver problems but Ubuntu and Linux I think are overcoming this hurdle and they are including like such hardware drivers by default and that saves a lot of headache honestly and it's really good to see that happening next up i'm going to talk about the software that is available i touched upon briefly the applications that are available installed and you can remove the amazon although i really don't like it and the webcam booth and this desktop sharing which i'm really looking forward to and whoops and there's other applications few just one game probably i think and the LibreOffice is there and that's pretty much about it and the transmission torrent client which is again good to see although the videos app is not as good but the problem here is because they want to support open source softwares and mp4 and other formats are closed source so they do not include 
file support for them so you have to install like vlc or some other player in order to view videos on a regular basis and i suggest doing that as well okay the next thing i'm going to talk touch on is what is good about this distribution and ubuntu 17.04 i think that what's good is that they have maintained this consistency and you can expect that there's not going to be too many problems or bugs and this ubuntu will run out of the box and a lot of people in the general public know about linux as ubuntu and they have seen people running ubuntu and that is what a notion that they form and i think that ubuntu carries that respect uh that aspect pretty well and if you go to their website it's called linux for human beings which is actually amazing to me because they have been pioneering pioneering like the first ones to be there and make ubuntu linux be usable for the average home user and that is i guess a big step that they have taken and they have pushed other distributions as well to improve the design and the usability and the interface so that everybody can use it and linux usage in general can increase because there are less hurdles i guess to an interface to be used and again you can install different applications and i guess ubuntu has been like the best distribution out there that there is that you can get software for and the maximum amount of software i can personally think is available for ubuntu definitely and that is really amazing to see and i hope that going forward they'll continue to support this add on to this and maybe make it even better and hopefully we can encourage more users to adopt linux and leave windows and mac next up i'm going to talk about the bad things that i felt in the distro i guess the distro is still kind of slow even when you run it on a fast system with more ram or even ssd i guess comparatively it's a little bit slow maybe i guess it's unity or i could change up the desktop environment but still i would think it's not as fast as it could be and resource efficiency resource efficient i guess but that's one thing to work upon the next up i think that the software center is really outdated and i think they've changed it with the gnome uh, ubuntu gnome version where they have collaborated with the gnome team and made the gnome software center default but i still have this option i guess that's just me or they'll change it again in the future update and that's what it i guess the design can change I, although unity is what i'm talking about i know i can install different desktop environments and change up things right around there here or there and that's pretty much it like unity is one of their main problems not exactly a problem but the step they could work upon and i've seen some videos on unity 8 and it looks absolutely fantastic and i'm waiting to see more of that next up i'm going to talk about where the operating system could improve i guess my improvement suggestions would be more graphics card and gaming i guess if you look around and see it on the web actually linux gaming has improved by leaps and bounds and i'm really happy for that to happen and if you go to steam like around i don't know 3000 games are available for the linux platform and that is just amazing to see i think linux has surpassed mac os in terms of the number of games available to it and that is like amazing to see because the thing is that the more people use linux and more games are developed more people come aboard and the more people come aboard the more developers are interested to develop games so it's like a cycle that keeps running and i think it's good to see like different things and different games being developed and that's what i really like to see because the i am also looking forward to gaming more on my computer and leaving the consoles out and i guess becoming a linux gamer is becoming a better and better option every day because more drivers are available controller support and now games are available i guess this is a really good time and i guess going forward they're going they're going to make more games and this is going to make more people adopt linux as they see windows and others spying on them and them wanting a solution to this so i guess that's one thing to improve upon gaming linux i guess and hardware support has been great i guess and there's not much of a problem and uh, in the end i would like to conclude by asking the question of who is this distribution for i guess if you're trying for it the linux distribution as a whole operating system for the first time 
this is a good thing to sink your teeth into and get the hang of and then you can go off to other systems or if you want stability like you're using a laptop for work and you really do not want to change many things yes you can use ubuntu for that and i guess it's amazing with its whole range of applications that are available although i would say if you're already running a ubuntu system like 16.10 or maybe 16.04 I guess there's not much need to upgrade because it's not much worth it and it's not so much good that you should upgrade and if you do want to upgrade the system I'll have a video link down below in the description where I have taught how to uh upgrade Ubuntu although that guide is a little outdated the the process remains exactly the same without any variations and you can check that out so with that I think I'm going to end that review uh, I really want to hear what you guys think just go down in the comments and like really tell me what you like about this distro what you do not like what you would like me to cover in the future what did i miss did i do it good or not i would i would really appreciate your feedback and i guess this is where i'm going to end this video so be sure to like and show your support and share this video and i'm going to see you guys in the next one okay bye